In this video, we're going to discuss the biggest risks with shorting stocks. So first off, one of the biggest problems with shorting stocks is you have unlimited risk. The stock can go however high it wants. So you can potentially have more significant losses, even over 100%. Whereas when you buy a stock, the stock can only go to zero. So you can only lose 100% of what you put in. Let's go back to the toy example. Say that the toy never came back in stock and maybe became discontinued, causing the item to be a collectible. And now it's gone up in value like crazy. There is no limit to what it could be worth. In a few years, it could be going for $5,000 on eBay and you sold it for $400. Now you'd be out the difference of the $400 to the $5,000. Something else to think about with shorting stocks is it can move against you very quickly on what is called a short squeeze. This is when the short traders trade is going against them. So they are short, but the stock is still going up in value. Now shorts know that they have unlimited risk potential. They will typically have a price point where they want to stop out or be done with the trade and take the loss. Now imagine that the stock hits that price point and there are a ton of traders that are short the position now having to cover or buy back their shares. So now you have the traders that think the stock is going up buying the stock and you have the traders that think the stock is going down buying the stock because it is going up too fast for them, they can't hold on to their position. This squeezes them out of their position and causes a huge move to the upside. Some traders focus heavily on finding stocks that are having a short squeeze move. This will typically happen with the smaller cap stocks that have a lower float. But of course, it can happen with the mid and the large caps as well. We'll dive deeper into this short squeeze topic but for now, that is it, and I will see you in the next video.